and welcome to sparkling water time with Juho. I don't have coffee because I've drank enough already. Today we're going over Puerto Kina. Uh, it's in three weeks, two weeks, and uh, we're having a TV for the analog community there. Uh, this means that we have a host, Nicolas, from Nico's Photography Show on YouTube and um, Nicolas Yacerra, Yacerra on uh, Instagram. Uh, he's hosting a series of interviews that uh, Jordan from Cameraville is uh, making public through either live things on our Facebook or YouTube videos after the uh, thing. But that's a very exciting news. Who do you want us to interview in Photokina? That's the big question. And uh, to spark your interest, I have stickers like this, and to the I will do a giveaway in in amongst everyone who tells their favorite interviewable person uh, for us. Uh, but that about Photokina, the Camera Rescue Photokina TV. Uh, next, I asked for some questions because it's stupid to have coffee with a conversation um, and I have uh, six questions from you guys. Uh, the first one was asked many times and it was obviously what is my favorite personal camera. Well my favorite personal camera is my father's old Nikon FE2 that has been my carry around uh, camera for 10 years. Uh, I've modded a Leica R 50mm Summilux onto it and uh, well that's it I never changed the lens uh, there's never you have I ha I've never had to service it so far uh, and it's a very very trustable camera with personal affection uh, quality wise Plubble 67 is my favorite um, second question uh, someone asked how to start a camera rescue business. Well, it depends on the level you want to do it. If you want to go to thrift stores, find, uh, I don't know, say 5 or 10 or 20 cameras during 3 months and then make a profit on them, then the easiest thing to do is test them with batteries and send us an email or once we release the camera rescue app, through the app, uh, um, a list of what you have, and they've been tested, and you'll probably get a five times or ten times return because they are so cheap at the thrift stores. Uh, but if you want to go deeper, uh, I believe the challenge for analog cam cameras is so much bigger than what we can do here. So we are willing to. Uh, give out our every know-how that we have on the subject and that's why we've set up uh, Erasmus Exchange uh, Entrepreneurship Exchange program so it's a official EU sponsored program where someone in the EU can come here uh, learn half a year get money from the EU and then go and set up the same kind of business uh, elsewhere in the EU. If you're from the States or Japan, then just send me an email you at camerarescue.org and let's see what happens. Um, third question. Which makes more noise, a Leica 3 or the Canon counterpart? Well, luckily I have them both. This is the Leica 3. One second, and a Canon 3. I don't know if it came through the mic okay, but the Canon is at least three times as loud. Obviously, this was just serviced by a professional Leica uh, repairman that we have upstairs, so it might also be a bit of that. Uh, <clears throat> for uh, we get constantly asked where can I buy cameras that we rescue well in if you're anywhere in the world you can buy them at camerastore.com that's our 
uh, that, that shop that owns all of the stuff that are in the showroom here. Uh, usually there's over 5,300 items on camerastore.com. So you can go there, worldwide shipping, uh, fast shipping, things like that. Uh, in the future, there will be also other venues uh, in the States and worldwide. Uh, five. Someone asked Fuji 645 or Fuji 67. Uh, so I believe the question was that I want to buy a new camera for medium format and I don't know what to choose. Well, these two are, oh, it wasn't even 6.7, it was 6.9. So these two are kind of in the opposite sides of what you can have in a rangefinder in medium format. The Fuji 6.45 is like tiny and the Fuji 6.9 is big. So it depends on what quality you want. And obviously with the 6.45 you get twice the amount of shots for each roll. So it's basically about your photo style and what is the need you have for the pictures later. Do you need maximum uh, picture quality or less picture quality? <clears throat> and the last question, what is the most horrific condition you have found any cameras in or a camera in? Uh, that was made by Ptoh in Instagram, uh, the question, and um, he had a cool story of a Nikon F3 he had found in a house fire that had been extinguished and the F3 was still working. Uh, I've not seen a camera that's that bad, but the thing that is really uh, sad is every now and then we go and see a very big lot. For example, last week uh, one of the guys was in London looking at a very, very big lot and sadly 99% of the stuff was in such a... Um, um, well, it had uh, moisture problems, fungus problems. It, they, they weren't like being... they hadn't been in a house fire, but when you see hundreds or even thousands of cameras that are all fungusy, that makes you really sad. Uh, I didn't see that lot by myself, but I've seen similar, similar lots um, because of poor st storing conditions. So seeing a lot of cameras somewhat in a bad condition makes me sad. But yeah, that was uh, coffee time with me or sparkling water time. Uh, let's see you next week. Bye-bye.